here in this video we will see a problem in which we are going to calculate normal stress and tangential stress here we have a question whatever is given here i'll write that in the form of data here it is given a 12 mm diameter bar so diameter is 12 mm is subjected to a pull of 12 kN pull it is the force 12 kilo newton that is 12 into 10 raised to 3 newton calculate the normal and tangential stresses on planes making angles of 5 degree and 37 degree with the axis of the bar so the question is to calculate normal stress denoted by sigma suffix n and tangential stress denoted by sigma suffix t and here they have given the values of theta as 5 degree and 37 degree means these are two different cases where we have to take the first angle which is as as 5 degree and the second one is 37 degree with the axis of the bar now with the data available let us try to get the solution to this problem here in the solution to this problem since the diameter of the bar is given we can first get the cross section area which will be circular So first thing is we'll calculate the cross sectional area that is since cross sectional area of the bar it is given as capital A is equal to pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 into 12 square and hence my answer of area it comes out to be 113 Point zero nine seven mm square. After getting the cross sectional area, since if we look at this circular bar from the side, then we will see it as a rectangle. So, here this is the circular bar along its length, this is the axis of the bar. Now, if we look into the problem. The question is to calculate the normal and tangential stresses on planes making angle of 5 degree and 37 degree and for that they have given the load as 12 kN. So first I will mark the load assuming it to be a tensile load. Now here we have 12 kN. It is given that the stresses normal and tangential are to be calculated on planes making angles of 5 degree and 37 degree with the axis of the bar so i'll say that for case number one here we are having theta with respect to the axis of the bar it is given as 5 degree now if i can explain it with a diagram here so this is the inclined plane and its angle with respect to the axis this angle is given as 5 degree but when we are solving problems related to principal stresses and planes which is this chapter here the angle we want is the angle made by the plane with respect to the vertical we require this angle because while deriving the formula the plane was taken and angle was taken with respect to vertical for this plane now here if i can see in this triangle here this is angle is 5 degree this is 90 so the remaining angle here would be 90 minus 5 that is 90 minus theta and i'll call this as theta 1 so i'll say that since theta 1 is equal to 90 
minus 5 so it comes out to be 85 degree this is the theta 1 which we are going to use in the calculation part next once we have area load is given and I can say that this load is given along x direction so I will calculate the stress along x direction so therefore stress along x direction that is given as sigma x is equal to load upon area the load along x direction is given as 12 kilo newton so therefore sigma suffix x is equal to 12 into 10 raised to 3 divided by area it was 113.097 so sigma suffix x it comes out to be 106.1 newton per mm square after getting sigma x we can calculate the values of normal and tangential stress which was asked in the question so the first thing is since normal stress is given by the formula of normal stress that is equal to sigma suffix x into cos square theta 1 now this is the formula of normal stress and as we can see here we have sigma x value and theta 1 so therefore sigma suffix n is equal to sigma x is 106.1 cos square theta 1 we have found out it was 90 minus 5 that is 85 degree so here normal stress answer comes out to be 0 0.806 newton per mm square so this is the first answer then we have to find tangential stress so i'll write down since tangential stress is given by sigma suffix t and that is equal to sigma x by 2 sin 2 theta so here i'll put the values therefore sigma suffix t is equal to sigma x it was 106.1 by 2 into sin 2 into theta is 85 degree so from this the tangential stress comes out to be 9.212 newton per mm square so this is the second answer so now after getting the normal and tangential stress for case number 2 we will find normal stress and tangential stress for the second case So in case number 2, theta is given as 37 degree. So again, as we know, if we consider the axis of the bar and the inclined plane on which we have to calculate the normal and tangential stress. So the angle is given with respect to the axis. It is 37 degree. And here we have to find the angle made with respect to vertical this will be theta 1 for us because while deriving the formula angle was taken with respect to the vertical so now here I can say that theta 1 is equal to it is 90 minus 37 which is 53 degree and again I'll say that normal stress is given by the previous formula which we have used that is sigma x into cos square theta 1 
formula will remain same. Putting the values here, sigma x 106.1 .1 cos square theta 1 we have found out 53 degree. So from this normal stress answer it comes out to be 38.43 Newton per mm square. This is the third answer. So now after getting the normal stress for case number 2 we will calculate the tangential stress. Since tangential stress is given by the previous formula which we had used sigma suffix t is sigma x by 2 sin 2 theta here we have theta 1 so therefore sigma t is equal to sigma x 106.1 by 2 sine of 2 theta 1 theta 1 that was it was 53 degree yes so here the tangential stress value comes out to be 50.995 newton per mm square so this is the fourth answer so here if you look into this problem for the two cases given first where theta 1 was 85 degree next case where theta 1 was 53 degree for the first case we have got normal stress as 0 0.806 newton per mm square for the second case the normal stress value was 38.43 newton per mm square Next, for the first case, tangential stress value was 9.212 Newton per mm square. And for the second case, tangential stress value was 50.995 Newton per mm square. And once we have found out all the values, the problem gets completed.